Yeah. Uh, Rick obviously uh, took charge there in the first half. What did you make of the first 45 minutes that we produced? Um, I was so proud of the boys, the first 45. Um, I just spoke inside to the boys. They, you know, to implement stuff on a whiteboard with no training sessions and then try and adapt on the fly to try and stop them building up, stop them playing. And everything was, was live. Um, it's so proud of how we adapted, how we managed the game. To go in one nil down at half time through a for a rehearsed set piece, you know, these guys are professional footballers and they should be so proud of how we approach the first half. Yeah. Talk about some of the, the challenges you face coming into a game, having not had a training session. How do you pull it all together? Is it just using that core of Devonport players and keeping things yeah, simple? Yeah, obviously the first half we had seven Devonport boys, so you try to make it simple and have a, a like-for-like -like system so people could coach each other through the game in the half. Um, having played 90 minutes yesterday, a late night from the NPL Awards last night, you know there were some heavy, tired legs out there. Um, and I guess we just had to pull the emotional heartstrings and just try and get them to fight for their state and fight and push through 45 minutes. And, uh, and they did that in abundance. It was it was tremendous. Yeah. You speak about the heavy legs. I don't think anyone had heavier legs than Eddie Bidwell. The way he was running around, yeah. uh, fair performance from him. The way Absolutely. he was working, wasn't and, it? And that was a, that was a key message at the start. You know, not not forgetting the older senior players because they're crucial to coaching the game as as themselves. But the young ones had a point to prove. You know, they want to put themselves on a map on the map, um, and we want to put Tasmania on the map to, to come get an A League team to come. You know, if those boys are in a full-time environment, seven days a week, three hours a day, um, and all the trimmings that go with it, imagine what the state could really do in football. Nathan Pitcher's performance in the first half wasn't bad, is it? Yeah, and, and again, again, he, he he shows why he was the state's number one and has been for a number of, a couple of years. Um, and you you do wonder these these players, what sort of chance would they have had? if an A-League team was here earlier. Um, obviously, it's pitch is now 31, but what, what if, um, you know, the, the, the state needs the needs the progression of its next step in football. Yeah. Yeah. What was the attitude in the dressing room before the game? Were there nerves? Um, I genuinely think it was more excitement and, and pride to represent their state. You know, there was some good some good camarad camaraderie between the boys. Um, some of them had represented Tasmania at junior level. So to now come back 10 years later and represent themselves uh, against against a prior position, it's it's a proud moment for these boys. Uh, they might not come around again, um, and it's a, it's a truly great day. And I think Ken and South Hobart and Vicky have done a wonderful a wonderful thing getting this organised. Um, Dave in the second half, I'll get him, stitch him up, and then he comes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Cheers, Rick. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Cheers. Who claims bragging rights for the day? You or you? Ah, oh, no, this is just a, a joint. Uh, yeah, I'm here, Dave. Yeah, you're gone. Yeah, yeah. No, when he's gone, I'll tell you the truth. Um, no, there's no bragging rights. It's just a, it's a, it's how we talk about the combined effort. So, lots of guys coming into a room. Um, as Rick said, we base it around a little bit how Devonport did in the first half, and then we just change things what we saw in the park and. Basically, well, that's what happened. We, what could we do differently? And we just tried to press a little higher. I thought we did that quite well in the second half, the first 10, 12 minutes. You see the soft goal. So I thought we did quite well, but to come back, um, lots of good efforts, but you know, just a class, a, a final pass. We win the ball and we just give it away too easily. We've got to work on those things and it's the pressure. As one of the boys walked off and said, it's just so intense going from this to the next level for 90 minutes. We do it for three minutes, we knack it, and then we have a five minute rest and come. And this level, you've got to do it all the time. And, and that's the difference. How hard is it as a coach to try and formulate a bit of, a, I guess, a pressing strategy when players haven't played together all year? <laughs> uh, the hardest thing was trying to organise how you do a warm up get a half-time team walk as well as, well as, as a buddy uh, trying to get them prepared to play the second half. Um, listen, it's, it was a challenge, but it was a good challenge. I mean, we, the, the boys know how to play, it's just having the confidence to do it. And this whole thing's about, you make a decision, you go and work at it, this is what we're going to do. One person goes, the rest have got to work on it. So, you, so Benny was the, the presser, he was the lead, and then we had to follow. Broke down when someone didn't do the job. If they don't do the job, then you go, you get broken down and you have to work through it again. Do you think the, I suppose the, the games yesterday, heavy pitch conditions is why the team lagged a little bit to, as the game wore on there, just fatigue? Yeah, I think a little bit of that and a little bit of, we're, we're constantly trying to remember, I've got to get to here, I've got to get to there. They had to think today, it's just not natural. You've got to go and work a lot harder and they wanted to, to ensure they played within the system we were trying to play. The heavy legs, of course it's going to hurt, but you know, at the end of the day, how much did last night take out of some players? But I don't think it took that much. I think everybody was pretty sensible last night, came here, but guys who travelled, I mean, 
we had a back four that's never played together, um, let alone anything else. And it was just a mixture of what we try and do. And, and we worked through it and we just go out and learn from there. Was it nice to, to get a goal for all the hard work today? I think from, it's from nice everyone? for everyone. I think we, we, we bring these teams down and we don't score. We show, I think it was a great move. Once we went 12, 15 passes before we finished it. Goz's ball in was super, Benny made the run. And we, we just need to have enough faith in ourselves to go and attack teams instead of at times we talk about we just sit back and we try and catch them on the break. Well, if we train, we can go and squeeze and we can win. Things like that. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks.